and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of The Nest. I'm Oscar. I'm Fletcher. I'm Tony. And I'm Amanda. And this is our talk show, our biggest project to date, Mass Media Class. And today, we'll be talking about, I don't know, Fletcher, what are we going to talk about today? Well, one of our topics will be pizza. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Ooh, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about mustaches. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And? Block scheduling. Oh boy, aren't we in for a treat today? Uh. But I think, first, you guys probably want to know a little bit about us. Do you, Asher? Yes, I do. Asher. Why? Thank you for the response. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have a little quest some questions that the Mass Media class came up with, and we think they'll be pretty interesting. We're going to go one by one, and we will answer these questions coming out of this little box. Eagle. With an eagle on it. Isn't that adorable? I think it is. Mm -hmm. I do as well. <laughs> well then, let's get started. Tony goes with the first question. What is your biggest pet peeve? People who have bad grammar. Bad grammar. <laughs> bad grammar. Oh. Oof. Bad grammar. Oh boy, Fletcher, right. now how about you? Oh gosh. What is your favorite lunch menu item? And I would have to say French toast at our school because I I load up on French toast. <laughs> I was about to say was that I was about to ask if the question was going to be school lunch or just any lunch, but you went know to school lunch. Oh, All right, school. let's see what I got. Big city or small town? I'll go with small town. I don't like big city people. They're too rude. <laughs> You just won a million dollars. What is your first big purchase? I'm gonna rent out Disney World. Disney World. Actually, amazing. Let's let's go around. What would you buy with a million dollars? Hmm. I have to say, well, I'd probably donate it to ASPCA. Oof. What is that? American. Really, you don't know? <laughs> it's a charity. It's, it's a, a good charity. charity. Yeah. He, he okay. did better. He, okay. He's doing a lot know. better things that we're probably gonna do. I was actually just gonna buy a rocket ship. Yeah, I was. I was gonna turn it all in the gold. <laughs> it's smart. It stocks. It is smart. Now, anybody from the audience, what would you do with a million dollars? Yes. Play. In your investment. Invest in what? Investment in the stock market. What? Do you know what stocks? I would split it equally among many mutual funds. That's smart. <laughs> that's that's very smart. Actually. Capital. That way you'd lose money and get money. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we will start our first serious topic: block scheduling. Fletcher, how do you feel about block scheduling? Um. Well, <laughs> there is obviously pros and cons. And I'm going to go with pros. I think for presentations and classes and science labs and stuff, it definitely plays a huge part in that because in a 45-minute period, you wouldn't usually have that much time to do all that stuff. Amanda? I like block scheduling. I think it, like what Fletcher said, it has more benefit. It's been more beneficial in science classes and things like that. And it's also nicer because then you get more time with the teacher to help you things you don't understand. Well, I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> Even though we already have it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we've talked about pros. What cons are there? Um. Well, me personally, I have pretty bad anxiety, and I get kind of fidgety if I kind of like cooped up for too long. So that definitely, it kind of bothers me a lot. <laughs> Do you have any cons for black scheduling? Uh, yeah, I have a really hard time focusing for a long period of time, so black scheduling kind of... Yeah. yeah. What about you? I... It's kind of a yes and no. Some classes yes, others no. I don't want to call on any teachers. Yeah. Uh, let's just say this teacher may talk a little bit about the world, and sometimes I just... It's a really long hour and a half. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sure I know what class you're talking about, and yep. I'm pretty sure I've fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you any... But other than that, I think block scheduling, I think it's overall smart, especially with what we have now, hybrid block, which is two days out of the week, having block schedule, odds and evens. I think it works out into the weekly schedule. 
pretty well. Right. Pretty well. Right. That was that was our first. That was our first serious topic. Well, aren't 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 we excited? <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about pizza because we all know that pizza is the ultimate food. Be it fresh or frozen, you can never really go wrong with it. Can you, Fletcher? Well, unless we're talking DiGiorno, who thinks they're delivery, which they're not. DiGiorno is terrible. <laughs> it is one of the worst things ever. You, It's either completely frozen or it just completely scorches your mouth. You can never really get a good in-between. It's so true. And then you can go opposite route. The greatest frozen pizza ever from all these. Shout out to my grandma who introduced me. It's It's... <laughs> Out of control. Perfect amount of cheese, perfect amount of sauce, pepperoni. Oh, so good. I'm going to disagree with you. I think the best pizza is Jack's pepperoni. Why? It just, it's so perfect. It has a nice amount of sauce and cheese, and the pepperoni is always really good. I guess I have so to agree So exactly with you. the reasons I had. Yeah. So, <laughs> so do we agree that pepperoni is one of the more superior toppings? Yes. Well... I prefer Supreme frozen pizzas because it's got onions and peppers and except for the mushrooms that I always uh, pick up. How do you guys feel about pineapple on pizza? Never tried it. I think it's good. I like it. A little too sweet for me. Audience, how do you feel about pineapple on pizza? Yeah. Oh man, I'm getting such mixed responses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you over there, why do you not like pineapple on pizza? It tastes terrible on pizza. It tastes terrible on pizza. Eric, I think it tastes great on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, just personal yeah. preferences, not actual facts. <laughs> uh, but if we go towards pre- like prepared pizzas from restaurants, if you've ever been to Toppers, the mac and cheese pizza? <laughs> mac and cheese pizza? It's unbelievable. <laughs> so you're just putting two Italian foods on top of each other. Exactly. Wait, is mac and cheese Italian? I don't think it is. Well, it could be. It's pasta. If it, it is, it's, it's, it's pasta, but I feel like it's more of a Mar- an American invention. I uh, I can definitely see that. Oh, uh, Fletcher, would you say that pizza is one of your favorite foods? No. No? <laughs> no. No. Definitely no. not. I don't think so. Okay. This is a turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, what would you say is your favorite well, food? Well, okay. Food? It depends. I guess if we're just talking pizza in general, no. If we're talking Chicago, like... Pie, deep, like, you know, I, you know I, I, deep I, understand, dish, I understand, I understand. That's totally different. It's like a pie pizza, and it, it's like yay thick. Well, it's already this, a pizza pie. Yeah, it's out of, it, it's amazing. Amazing. Pizza, favorite, yes or no? I'd say yes, just because it's really easy to make, and I'm kind of a bad cook. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same problem. Bad cook or favorite pizza? Bad cook. What is your favorite kind of pizza? Cheese. Cheese? Yeah. All right. Going original. And now that we talked about our favorite foods, our good friend Cody, Cody, Cody's questions, he goes around during eighth hour and takes people out of their study halls and asks them a question. This week, he asked them, if you could invite anyone to dinner, living or dead, what would you eat? And Wait, what? Oh. Would you, would you like to answer the question? If <laughs> you must answer it without hearing it again. If you can invite, <laughs> if you can invite anyone to dinner, living or dead, what would you eat? Oh, what I eat. So it doesn't really matter who's there. <laughs> that was the point of the question. A lot of people actually caught on right away. We were we, expecting we, stumbling. We were like, expecting people more saying, people, people like you. Say, Michael what, Jackson. What would you eat? Michael Jackson. <laughs> we were expecting responses what like that, eat? but Stephen we ended Hawking. up getting a lot of food. Uh, I would, I'd probably say sushi. No, we actually got that response from somebody. Oh, boy. And now, through the magic of editing, we will show some of those answers. Hi, I'm Cody. Uh, I'm the host of Cody's Questions. We, during 8th hour, we go around and ask questions, just random questions. You get your responses, your answers, and you will then be featured on, a, on the show. You can invite anyone over for dinner. Living or dead, what would you eat? What would I eat? Seafood. 
Sushi. Steak. Chicken. Spaghetti with meatballs. What would I eat? Um, it'd have to be tacos because tacos are my favorite and everyone likes tacos. So. <laughs> what would I eat? Anyone over? What? Pizza. I would eat a dinner. It's my favorite German food. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> Gosh. I guess I'd have like a really big turkey dinner with them. Can eat longer. Probably lasagna. Oh, T-bone steak. T-bone steak on the grill for sure. Um, with a baked potato. Absolutely. S steak. It's a nice steak. Yeah. Oh man. People really like food. <laughs> well, that's America. That. Whoa. 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 That's true. That's very true, actually. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. Oh man. Abe Lincoln, main man. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, since we already talked about block, we can go back to enrichment. Enrichment opportunities, which are during like the homeroom period, but it's technically the enrichment period, um, like different kinds of activities that could be happening in the near future. Like, like anything, you could have a Pokemon club, you could have more art classes, you could do sewing, reading, writing, anything. Karaoke Knitting. club. Yeah. How to prepare for a zombie apocalypse? Carpentry, <laughs> sushi making. Spanish class. Carpentry. <laughs> <laughs> you could talk about your favorite TV shows during a enrichment period with other people who are almost as enthusiastic of them about you. Or you could have a period where you just watch 1990s cartoons. Or 1990s music <laughs> videos. You could basically do, if you can think of it, you could probably do it in enrichment. And then other than that, you can get help from teachers or like extra study hall time if you if you really need it. But at the moment, we don't have this. Our enrichments at the moment are just study halls. And or club time. But mostly study halls. And that's very boring. And what would you think if something like this change if something like this actually came to the school next year? Um, well, I think I think most of the students will really like it. Because it gives them the opportunity to do things they want to do, you know? What would you want to do? Um, well, I'd probably either just have a study hall or, like, Pokemon Club. That would be awesome. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, nah, nah, Yu-Gi-Oh! No. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what, what, what would you want, though? I would want to learn how to make homemade spaghetti sauce. That's just the sauce. Just the sauce. <laughs> I could just buy the pasta. What would you like to do, Tony? Uh, karaoke. Karaoke. What, what kind of music? Please tell me. Hmm. Pop. Pop? <laughs> <laughs> like 2000, 90s, 80s? 90s. 90s pop. 90s. Ooh. Okay, all right. A lot of, of sin. <laughs> all right. Not too much sin. Too much sin. <laughs> what would the audience, if you had the opportunity to do anything you could in enrichment, what would you want to do? Let's call on Omar. Mikhail and I would like to do a dance club. Dance club? What <laughs> type of dancing? Any kind. Any oh, salsa. salsa. Dance salsa. dance revolution? Pop. Break dance? Crunk? Moshmits? Got to be wearing them boots and baggy jeans, you know? No. No so, bottom jeans. Now we're going to ask Mr. Garon what he would like to do. I'd like to bring my dog and I would like to just play with him for 35 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> During tennis balls. Now, and, uh, now, would you like other people to also bring their dogs? Or just your dogs? Just you and uh, your dogs. I, I, like, I like dogs that much. Everybody should bring theirs, yeah. Everybody should bring their dogs. Although, we got to clear a lot of paperwork hurdles and that kind of thing. So, I, yeah, I know I that there's not possible. Oh, yeah. the, the, well, the, maybe it is. I don't know. I just don't like paperwork. <laughs> I could agree with that. Right? I don't like paperwork either. <laughs> now, well, you could do basically anything as long as you could get it approved. Yeah, that's the and problem. And it's legal. Is getting it through well, administration. 
and obviously legal. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? Open heart surgery? Well, that, that could be legal. Uh, uh, maybe if you're a 10 year veteran doctor. <laughs> exactly. We could get somebody to come in and teach us. Can't be that hard. Oh, yeah, you know, open heart surgery. It's probably easy. <laughs> you played Operation before. Exactly. <laughs> All right. the T-Bone? Surgeon Simulator 2013. <laughs> now, there's something that I just recently learned about, and that is apparently that March has now been considered Mustache March. And I don't know how to feel about this. Because I know about Movember, but Mustache March just seems like a new thing to me, and it doesn't seem like it's going to catch on. You know, obviously No Shave November, people are right growing out facial hair for that, and I don't know, I think March is too soon. March is too soon. It's too soon. As a girl <laughs> who is not going to grow a mustache, <laughs> I, I really, it doesn't faze me. How do you feel about facial hair? Um, I guess it depends on the person. What if it's like a full-grown beard? Well... It depends on if the person, it, like, if it doesn't look right, I'm gonna, it's it's not gonna look right. right. Duck Dynasty beard. I, I would <laughs> rather have a huge beard than just, like, a, just a mustache. <laughs> it's kind of just, like, hanging out there, you know? But if you just had your mustache, would you style it a certain way? Oh, would I style it? I would, I would get that walrus, <laughs> I'd get the walrus going, just a big bush of fur on your upper lip. Like Mr. Gorchels, you remember Mr. Gorchels? I remember Mr. Gorchels. Kind of just had that, he would like talk to you while he was talking, like, <laughs> hey, Flash, how's it going? It was like a little gray caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Tony. Or, yeah. Favorite mustache? Favorite mustache? I have to say the Chevron. Chevron? Yeah. What's, what's Please explain like? it. Well, it's kind of pyramidical at the edges, and then it rounds out in the middle. Cool. Hand, like a handlebar, kind of? Like a handlebar, but doesn't go down. It doesn't go down. Like, it just goes up? <laughs> like <laughs> That's the dolly. Like Waluigi <laughs> in Super Mario Brothers? Does it just go out? <laughs> no. It sticks to your It stays to your face. It doesn't oh. leave. Oh, my God. You know who has amazing facial hair? That guy from The Hunger Games with his, like, really swirly oh, beard yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Caesar. I don't know his name. You know his name, either. Caesar. <laughs> I, oh, I just thought... That looked really cool, but I can I don't I can't grow facial hair very well. Or you can go with the Dali, which is Salvador Dali. It's based after him, the famous artist, the surrealist. Oh, it's, it's not a, the one that just it, goes. Yep, no, it's a handlebar except just upside down. <laughs> it kind of just like all the way up. No, what would no, what would you say if we could make some of these dreams come true? Well, I'd say yes, please. I say we do some style. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our new segment where we get we are going to interact with the audience a little bit more, and we're actually going to draw mustaches on them, or they could draw on us. You know what, Fletcher? Go pick somebody to draw a mustache on. And bring them back here. Uh, Who's it gonna be? Is it that person? That person? Maybe even Omar. Oh, I think I see a girl. Bring it over here. All right. What what mustache? Come a little bit closer in front of the table, Fletcher. What mustache are you gonna draw on this person? Well, I think I'm gonna go with. I think it's just gonna be a nice, a nice thin pencil stash. Did you have you ever seen those? I have. Uh, I have. It's like they just they groom it just right, so it's just thin enough and it looks good enough. All right, Fletcher. You have 15 seconds. Go! Draw it faster. Faster. <laughs> My hands are shaky. Well, then maybe you should hurry up. You only have seven seconds left. Oh, no. Fletcher, no, your dream is not coming true. I'm sorry. Fletcher, I'm sorry. Fletcher. I think I got it. No, I you didn't. I think I got it. That's it. You're out of time. And now you're going to compete against Amanda to see who could draw the better mustache. Oh, go pick somebody from the audience. Or you can pick. Right. Let's take you, because you look really excited. <laughs> Oh, I love excited audience members. Once again, 15 seconds. Draw a good mustache. Don't be like Fletcher. <laughs> and go. Oh, she is just going right for it. Oh, oh God. Oh. 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 
Oh god. Oh, you're gonna need the jolly. Oh. You okay. took my word. Perfect. Did, did she do it? Oh, you, you even had a second to spare. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Smudgy, man. Oh, no audience. Oh, please pull <laughs> Both of you stand, stand stand in front of the camera. Front in front of the camera. Side by side. Now audience. Clap if you like Fletcher's creation. Yeah, Fletcher! Clap if you like Amanda's creation. I, I would say that was pretty even. I, I'm not gonna... I'm, Amanda won. <laughs> well, thank you, audience members. Thank you for coming down. You can go take your seat. And I think... You know what? Let's do one more question for us out of the eagle box. We'll do one okay. question around the table. Okay, then. What is the question, Tony? The question is, if you woke up tomorrow as an animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> I would have to say... Bald eagle. Bald eagle. Why is that? Because it's the nest. Freedom. Fair enough. Fair you enough. do it, and Fletcher. The no, we're answering we're that question. The same one? That question is pretty amazing. This All right. Is well, if I had to wake up as any animal, I'd probably go with the platypus. Why the platypus? Well, <laughs> as unique as they are, and as unique as my as unique as my name is. That's true. And the males have venomous spurs on their front. Like, are they? Can, hands? Can you make Paws? a platypus Slippers. noise? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, if I had to be an animal, I would be a kiwi. Because you mean cute the New Zealand. Zealand. Yes, New I mean Zealand. the bird. I don't mean the fruit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because they are adorable and flightless and endangered. I was going to say, are you aware they're flightless? <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's the best part. They're just like a I big ball of fur with a I little beak. Also, I think a they also have. Uh, I think they also have poor eyesight as well. I have poor eyesight too. Poor kiwis. All right. so much Amanda, what would you be? I would be a giraffe because they're my favorite and they're so cute. And they're so tall. Have you ever seen them fight? <laughs> that, yeah. Don't they just go at it with it's their dad? The male's just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so violent. Oh, That's man. so majestic. Over a mate, though. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Oscar. I'm Fletcher. I'm Tony. And I'm Amanda. And thank you for coming to the next nest. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> thank you for coming to the next. Yeah.